are going to begin talking about Jesus. And when most people think about Jesus, uh, even as Christians, uh, I think that it is easy for us to focus more on what he's done for us than who he is. But we really, uh, during our videos and our time together, I really want to focus on who he is because that is the greatest gift that God has given to us. God has given us the gift of himself in his son, Jesus Christ. And there is no greater gift uh, that God uh, could give to us. And one of the ways uh, that God used to explain to us the significance of who his son was, was by giving him the name Jesus. And we read about that in Matthew uh, chapter 1, verse 21. Here the, the, we have the annunciation to uh, Joseph, uh, where the angel is speaking to him. Uh, and this is what the angel told uh, Joseph. She will bear a son, and you will call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. That name Jesus comes with meaning, because the name Jesus means God saves. Uh, the God of the, the Hebrew God uh, of the Old Testament, he saves. And he saves his people in the person of the boy who was going to be born to Mary uh, and Joseph, who they named uh, Jesus. Now, names can be used in different ways. Uh, one of the ways that names can be used is they can uh, denote uh, ownership. So I have a couple of books here. One is uh, my hymnal. You know this is my hymnal because it has my name written in gold Sharpie marker on the top of it so that Pastor Matt and DCE Joel don't try to steal it from me. Uh, this is my Bible. Uh, and again, my Bible has uh, my name, Reverend uh, Daniel J. Lepley. Was, this was given to me as a gift. Uh, and, and so this, of course, uh, tells me uh, this is my Bible, uh, not anyone else's, uh, so that when I leave it around the church, as I do occasionally on Sunday mornings, going from place to place to place to place, forgetting where I put it, it finds its way back to my mailbox. Uh, but this is another book that has my name on it. Uh, this is the book that I published uh, on our origins, and it's got my name on the bottom, Daniel J. Lepley. Uh, in, in that case, it doesn't denote ownership, uh, but this is my creation. This is my production. That was uh, my work. Uh, and so my name on that book denotes more than ownership. It denotes this is the one who, who wrote it, who created it. Uh, and, and in that way, uh, my name takes on a little bit different meaning. When it comes uh, to Jesus, uh, his name tells us also what he does for us. God saves us. Uh, my name, uh, Daniel, has a meaning. It's God is my judge. Uh, and it's, that's a helpful reminder for me personally uh, as, you know, I seek to, to serve God as, as a pastor, as a husband, as a father in the many ways I try to serve God. It's good for me to know uh, that God is my judge. You know, I, other people may judge me, but they're not my judge. Uh, that's an important reminder and that's the value of my name. The value of Jesus' name is knowing that, that God also judges us. But when he judges us in light of Jesus, he judges us in love because Jesus gave himself up for us to be our Savior and to be our Redeemer. So as you think about the name of Jesus, remember always that Jesus means God saves, and he saved us by sending us his Son into the world, uh, who was born, uh, who lived, who died, and rose again, so that we would know the blessings of God's love and the blessings of salvation, both now and forever. Please pray with me. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for giving us your Son, Jesus, uh, to save us from our sin, uh, to redeem us from the power of sin and death and the devil, and to give us the hope, the blessed and wonderful hope of everlasting life with you, uh, and enlightening this life uh, with the good news of your love, which is ours in Jesus. In whose holy name we pray. Amen. Blessings on your day.